Hi everyone, right I did say I'll come back and show you how I do the embossing on the butterflies etc. What you're going to need, your shape, I've got the butterfly which is chipboard, I've also got a large heart in wood, um, thick embossing powder, a shimmer, I'm using the uh, marigold which is the cosmic shimmer vintage mist, distress ink and your tray obviously. Okay, what we do is first of all we're going to colour the butterfly and uh, I'm only doing half the wing say half the wing just wipe that on like that that's fine doesn't have to be perfect at all oh come on turn around okay then what I'm going to do is shimmer that first so I will need to take my tray here we go and I'm just going to shimmer that first. Yep, yeah, like that. Put the lid back on. Take that out. I can get hold of it. Pop it on there. Take the heat gun and just dry that off. I may just add a little bit more. I like that. You watch what happens and the difference it makes when it's done. Now to that I'm going to add the perfect medium. Oops. Not the feather. <laughs> and just dab that all over. Turn it upside down, make sure it's totally covered. On the other side. And you can do this on anything. Absolutely anything. Okay. Pop that to one side. Pop that in the tray. And then we're just going to add the embossing crystals. Make sure that's covered. Give it a good press down. I always do. Well, not always, but mainly if I want it really thick, give it a good press down. Like that. And then we'll pick that up. You may need to do that again. We'll see. Take the heat gun, Okay, like that, give this a good shake, um, just going with the tray again, I'm just going to leave it on top of that, and you'll see it's got like little bubbles on, don't know if you can see that, I hope you can. And then what we're going to do is dry that off. And as it melts, the UT, that's what you call UT, embossing powders, it splits and it sinks in.
Now I'm going to show you what's happened. I hope you can see that. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? How it's all split and then the, the mica has sunk in. Now if I was to take, just let that cool down a minute. Right, if I was to take, um, let me find a cloth. It may happen, it may do it. I might have not to. Uh, I was to take a cloth and just wipe that over. Where it's landed on top of the UT and not split, that will take that out. See? It's not actually had a chance to go in there. Like that. The longer you leave it, the more it'll split and it sinks in and takes the colour and the mica. Okay? Now what I can do is reheat that. And there you go. Can you see? Well, I hope you can. Isn't that gorgeous? Bling that up, do whatever you want to do with it, and you've got a nice butterfly for your project. So we'll just put that to one side to cool down. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do it with this. In fact, I'll do the black one. Again, take the Distress Ink. Don't have to do all of it. Like that. Pop that to one side. Still using the same colour. Drop that in. a good spray okay take that out we should quickly dry that off <coughs> excuse me hope you can see this What we're going to do is take the perfect medium again, dab that all over, really good dabbing of that, that's fine, it's not dirty my pad. Okay, pop that in the tray, just pop this back in here, pour in the UT, or the embossing powder, whichever you want to call it. Press that down. Okay. And we're just going to emboss that. Excuse me, I still can't get, get rid of my tickly cough. Just 
keep spinning that round till we get all the Okay, and then what I'm going to do, give that another shake, take the box, give that a shake, plenty on, take that out, and then dry that, and like, again, as it melts the um, UT, it sinks in and pulls it down with the mica. First of all, let me just see. Yeah, I'm just going to do some swirls in it actually. Because I want a bigger collection of, UT, uh, of uh, mica in my pattern. Yeah, like that. Now we'll dry that off. It is bubbling. And it's a fantastic technique. Looks like it's taken ages to do, but it's not. See, I don't know if you can see it, the movement of the mica is moving on top. Just stop that a minute. I'll soak a little bit of that up. Like that. And I just pop the heat back on. It's like the mic is just floating on the surface. Right, that's enough of that. Let that cool down. I'm not sure if you're going to see it. I hope you are. Can you see? It's just brilliant technique and quite easy to do. Like that. Once that cools down, that'll all settle down. Isn't that fabulous? And here's the butterfly using the same technique. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that's helped you. You do have to be careful, it has dried. And you can feel it where it's split and, you know, see the ridged areas around the edges of the mica. Yeah, and then what I would do to protect that, I would then give it a coat of Mod Podge or um, a PVA glue. A watered down PVA glue. Um, and there you go. Hope you can see that. I hope it's nice and clear for you, but sorry I can't <laughs> see, but, that you know, I'm, I've done what I can. I hope that's as close as I can get. I'm not sure how close I can show you either of them okay so thanks for watching that's it for now and I'll speak to you soon